Welcome to your first of five videos on our thoughts, specifically negative thoughts as they pertain to our food choices. The end result of this video series is to have you thinking and have you acting on the idea that food is fuel and nothing else. In order to get there, we have to analyze what thoughts we're currently having. We have to look at why our mindset is so negative in the first place. What has happened to get us to that point? And also, how can we restructure the thoughts that we have, including the thoughts that we don't yet know we are having, to better serve us? We're going to look at concepts like the hunger scale, emotional childhood, cognitive bias, and other thoughts and theories and beliefs that you might have that are holding you back, that are keeping you from achieving your transformation. We can eat healthy food all we want and we can see changes, but ultimately what's changing is our thought around food, how we think about food, how we deal with urges and desires, and how we can use our brain against our brain. You see, here's the thing. And this is what I'm about to talk to you now, is that first video is all about the origins of the mind, the origins of negative thoughts. Right now, you are thinking a thought. In fact, you are thinking multiple thoughts. You can think up to 80,000 thoughts a day. 300 million thoughts a year. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But here's the thing. Many of your thoughts are just happening. You have no idea they're happening. You have to be able to turn in, tune into the thoughts that you don't even know you are having. Now as you go through this video series, you're going to be able to learn the tools and strategies that are going to enable you to do that. Because right now you might be sitting there thinking, how can I possibly think about what I'm thinking about? Sounds crazy. But first we have to look at why we think the way we do and how it serves us or how it does not serve us. So what then is a thought? A thought is something you are having, an opinion or belief about a circumstance, about a fact, about a neutral event. So let's take for example this video right now that you are watching. It is neutral, it has no emotional attachment to it until you decide what emotion you are attaching to it, what feeling and what thoughts you have about it. So you could be sitting there thinking, Greg's really annoying. His teeth aren't quite as white as they should be. His hairline is receding. These are all negative thoughts, things I just thought off, off the top of my head, because that is how my brain is programmed. The amygdala, which is the center of your brain that remembers everything. It remembers so many things and for the sole purpose of keeping you where you are. You see, your brain thinks it's keeping you safe by remembering and recalling events that were emotionally attached to. Things that scared us. Fears, anger, jealousy, hate, sadness. Our thoughts around who we are. Our brain will constantly bring up thoughts about that, about ourselves, about our past results. For the sole purpose of keeping us safe. It doesn't want us to change. It wants us to stay who we are. And that is not your fault. This is how you were designed. This is your two million year old brain serving to protect you. What I need you to do right here and right now is think about that. Think about what is my brain doing in this very moment? And then be okay with it. Be okay with the thoughts that your brain puts into your body. Because as I sit here, I'm thinking, I know I want to make this video because I know I want to make an impact, but at the same time, my brain is thinking and it's recalling to myself that I look funny, that I sound funny, that I am doing things wrong, and why am I doing this because it's not going to do anything, and so on and so forth. But I'm challenging it. And that's what you're going to do over the course of these five videos is challenge your brain. Challenge the thoughts that you don't yet know you are thinking. And I'll be giving you the tools and strategies to do that. I'll be giving you tips and hacks and whatever it takes 
to really question your brain, to question what it is that is actually true. So of the 80,000 thoughts you have a day, more than 80% of those are typically negative. This is because we are, or we are from a very young age, coerced into thinking a certain way. We're trained to think that way. We're trained to think negatively. We're not trained to think outside the box. We're trained to think within a set standard of ideologies and beliefs and thoughts based on the way our parents did things, based on the way our grandparents did things, based on the way our education system does things. We have these thoughts and these beliefs, which are continual thoughts, that we're supposed to, con that we're supposed to follow these set of values, these set of thoughts and beliefs, and that's all we can do. All we can do is follow that, and we have to follow that. But this course, this five-part mini-series, is designed to help you think differently, to really teach you how your brain operates. And then you can decide for yourself if transformation is really for you. If you can, part, if you can separate your, what's known as your prefrontal cortex from your primitive brain or your limbic brain, you can separate those two and decide for yourself that you have control of your thoughts and your thoughts drive your feelings and your feelings drive your actions and your actions drive your results. And that's how it's done. So know that many of your thoughts are subconscious. These are thoughts that you don't even know you're having. But we can tune into them. So for example, as we move through this, this video series, I'm going to be asking this question again, but for now I'm going to ask you this. Have you ever just gotten, gotten up off the couch, walked to the fridge, and opened it, and then closed it? Has that ever happened? You are having subconscious thoughts that you don't even know you are having, but you can tune into them. You can look at the various behaviors and cues and triggers and really tap into, why is my brain doing this? What does it want? What is it looking for? And from there, we can begin to change and reframe and restructure the sentences we create in our minds. That's all thought really is. It's a sentence that we create in our minds. And we can create any sentence we like. There is nothing, nobody, nothing can hold us back from believing and thinking whatever we want. So we can choose to think what we want we can decide to create transformation. I look forward to the next video with you. We're gonna talk about paying attention to our thoughts, looking at the thought process, thought downloads, thought loops, and beliefs and belief systems, where things really developed, why they developed, and how we can actually go about breaking things down to a manageable state, asking the questions that serve you, the questions that get you results, the questions that challenge your brain, that challenge your negative thoughts. So that your 80% negative thoughts don't become 80% because you don't let them win. Again, that is your choice. So the thought, the sentence that you create in your mind is your decision. This is going to be fun. Enjoy.